Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a makeup inventory update for 2020. I did this back in January for this year and since then I have finished a bunch of stuff but I have also decluttered a few. So my numbers has changed, the totals has changed. I'm pretty excited about it and I'm excited to show you guys or share with you guys at least. I'm not going to share new, pi new pictures. I'm going to take that in January. So let's do this. So I have three categories overall in my spreadsheet. I have face, lips and eyes. As I just said, I decluttered a few things. So I will link the declutters down below as well as my empties playlist and the video from January. So you can see those before watching this video if you want to see those kind of things otherwise you can just keep watching this videos and it is going to be strictly numbers so it's not really that fun but if you want to hear about it here you go <laughs> so my face category has moved down from 126 products in January down to 114 products so I'm pretty excited about that to be quite honest so for primers I had two in January I still have two I do think it is uh, two different ones, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe one of them is the same, the pore minimizer, but the other primer for my entire face is definitely different. I think I have went through two primers this year so far. Then we have eye primers. I had five in January. I have four now. I have finished one, which is really exciting. I don't know if I can finish more this year, but let's see how my numbers are in January of next year. Foundation, I had six in the beginning of the year and now I'm down to three. I think that is really exciting. One of them I use as a mix mixer. Maybe I'm going to use it as a, as a full face um, foundation in the winter time because that matches me when I have no tan at all whatsoever. The other two are really dark and one is kind of matching me now. So I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Really happy actually. Concealers, I had 12 in January and I'm down to 8. I'm happy. Very happy about that. Correctors, I have the same one. I only have one. Powders, I had 5 in January. Now I have 3. I am, I wouldn't say I'm almost done, but I can have like one and a half, maybe two of those powders done by the end of the year. Then we have a change in the cheek category and for blushes I have finished one this year and so I am down one so from 24 to 23. I'm pretty stoked about that because that is cream blush and I have no more cream blush in my collection now. I'm really excited about that. In January I had 16 bronzers and now I still have 16. I haven't finished any. I have been working on some. My Franken bronzer I have been working on a lot. But if you know that one broke so I kind of have a Franken bronzer of my Franken bronzer. But that is going to be done really soon so um, I don't know if I'm going to count that in. If I am, I am up one but I'm going to be down to 16 in a few months, maybe even this month. Let me know if I should count that in. So it's 17 instead and then we can, I can change the number. Then we have highlighters. I haven't finished any this year, so I'm still at 50, like in January. For body shimmers, I still have the same two. I'm really working on one of them right now, so that is almost done because I mixed it in with a body lotion. Foundation mixer, I don't have any, or have I? I don't recall having one in January. Setting spray, I have the same two as in January. So that is not really exciting. Okay, then we have lips and I had 147 total lip products in January and now I have 120. I'm pretty excited about that number because that means I went down 27 lips, uh, lip products overall. And that is a mixture of using up and decluttering. Okay, for lip scrubs, I have the same four. I'm still using one of them. For lip balms, I had six in January. I have five now. I used up a lip oil in the past few months. So that is pretty exciting, I think. I don't know. Lip primers, 
I have had the same one since 2017. So I really want that gone. If it's not done, like used up, done, I'm just going to declutter it because then I don't like it. I just don't. Lip liners. I had a 19 in January and now I'm down to 17. In a few days I'm going to be down to 16 so that is really a bummer that I didn't I didn't complete one more but um I'm I'm no I'm not worried about that category it is going down even though it's kind of high but half of them are like lip twisters from W7 and I can go through those pretty fast and those are the three that I have used up this year lip gloss tubbers this category can be removed in January because I had six in January and now I have zero because I decluttered all of those because I don't like them. I do think I kept two but I moved those to the uh, lip gloss category. I just thought I could remove a category and then these videos can be less long. So for lip glosses I had 14 in January and I now have 16. Hello there, editing Elizabeth here. I still have 14 because I decluttered two lip glosses. I just forgot in this moment. <laughs> and that only went up because I rem I moved the two tabas into the lip gloss category because I basically used them alone anyway. So yeah. Lip crayons, I have the same two as I've had since January and I am working on those in the graveyard project pan. So let's see if I can have them done in a few months or well at least one of them. I don't think so but I'm doing my best here. Liquid lipstick I had 45 in January and now I have 39 and that is due to decluttering because I haven't used any up. Surprise surprise. Then we have lipsticks. This category is so confusing for me because I have no idea why I didn't count my nine lipstick pants in my BHCN XO uh, palette into this like ever. I have no idea because it is a double sided palette. One side is eyeshadow, one side is lip products. For some reason I never counted those lip products. So I have eight in that palette because I just used one up. Yeah, and I decluttered, yeah, I did, I decluttered a lip palette, which is included in this, in these numbers as well. I had 42 in January and now I have 38, which I think is pretty great if you consider that I added in the nine pans of lipstick, well, eight, and then I took out 12 from the lip palette and then lipstick tubbers, I decluttered all eight of those so I have no more lip tubbers in my collection. Then we have eye products and for eyebrows I had I still have the same five I'm really close at one so I'm almost down to four which which is exciting. Eyeliners I have used up one so I'm down one from seven to six and then we have liquid liner I had eleven in the beginning of the year so in january and now i have nine i decluttered a few i don't think i have used up any but i've been working on a few um and i am working on a few glitter liners it has been the same tree since 2018 glitters and pigments i am up one because i bought one um, from blush trap when they were closing down at a discount i couldn't help myself but I'm up to 20 now. I had 19 in January. So mascaras, I this is a category that I really don't care about. I have one to two open at a time. I most likely always have a bag up right now. I don't because I have both of them open. But January I had three, now I have two. As as I said, I have used up my bag up or one and then opened my bag up, you know. Cream shadows, this went down so much, like so much. I had 14 in January. Now I have six and I'm pretty stoked about that. And I'm working on uh, two right now, at, no, three at the moment. Um, and one of those three are almost done. So I can have more done by January. And that is pretty exciting because I'm not going to buy that category again. <laughs> okay, single eyeshadows. I had 20 in January and I technically still have the same 20 because I didn't finish any. But if you follow my Panda palette, you know that I have made three Franken shades. Um, and so far I haven't finished them. So I still have them. So technically I have 23 
single eye shadows, but if you don't count the Franken shadows, except that is not why it's up to 23. I'll explain later. <laughs> In those numbers, I own, I still have the same 20. Or is it only 22? Because one of the singles that I find him is in a bronzer. So maybe it's only 22. I have 23 pans of single eyeshadows. I'm confused myself now. I will write on the screen what I have decided for that number because I'm getting myself confused now. So I will go in thinking mode and let you know on the screen what I have decided. <laughs> Quartz is very easy, I still have the same tree. And I don't have any duos or trios or anything like that. I only have a single quartz and then palettes where I count from the quints and up. Basically, I don't think I have any quints. In January I had 38 palettes and if you saw my declutter, you know that I have decluttered a few palettes. Um, oh, maybe that that is where the tree comes from in 23 single eyeshadows. I'm going to depart some shades from other palettes. Maybe that's where they come from. It is. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you saw my declutter, I have I had 38. Um, palette in January and now I have 32. I decluttered a few in that video. I haven't filmed it yet but I think I might in the next few days where I depart um, three shadows from those palettes in so they count as a single shadow. So that's where the 23 number comes from and not just Franken shadows in my singles. I'm sorry if <laughs> Uh, never mind me. Okay, that means I went down um, quite a few, actually. I had 123 eye products in January and now I have 86 products. And I'm pretty stoked about that, to be completely honest. And I even bought some and decluttered some, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy about my numbers. So let's count the totals shall we so in total i had 396 products in january and now i have 322 so that means i have used up and decluttered 74 products this year and i'm pretty happy about that because we are only in oh, only the year went by really fast um, we are in August and that means I can still have some products finished um, this year and I have and I am going to in this uh, this month which is really exciting I think that is everything for this video and now I need to eat and drink something because my throat is hurting so bad I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hearing me ramble about my numbers and my inventory and getting myself confused apparently. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will have the other inventory updates linked down below. So I hope you guys are going to stick around on my channel if you're new here. Obviously I do a lot of project planning on my channel um, and my empties and declutters and stuff like that. So I still try to get some use out of my collection and getting it smaller because I really like the feeling of cura curating my collection in this way to use them up instead of just decluttering them. I did my declutter because it was really overdue and the products that I decluttered in the video that I have linked down below, those are products that I don't like and I don't care for and I don't want to use and I don't want to pan. So I didn't see the necessity to have them in my collection and in my numbers anymore so that is why i hope that expa explains a lot about me and yeah i really like to experiment and play around and pan at the same time and have the satisfaction of using stuff stuff up so that is basically me in a nutshell <laughs> and what my channel is about i hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video i hope you will take care I definitely am because if you're new here, I'm pregnant. I'm seven months pregnant right now, so I'm going to have a baby in October. I still hope to have a lot more progress in my inventory by January. 
Um, but it is going to be a challenge to use makeup in October and November. But I'm going to do my best anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed and take care until my next video. Bye. Yeah.